some impressive pictures from you, the viewer. Check this one out. Hey, uh, honey, uh, where'd you park the car? Look at that. A lot of snow. This is Sandia Park. The East Mountains were clobbered by snow. We got some great pictures from you guys. Check this one out. This is from Haley and Moriarty. Um, probably not the best day to have a lunch outside. Pretty rough out there. We're going to focus our attention less on the East Mountains and the northern part of the state uh, and more to the eastern part of the state. And that's where we're starting to see continued snow showers. Portales, Clovis, Fort Sumner, snow overnight into tomorrow morning. As we look to the south and the east, we're seeing snow showers start to make their way into Roswell. 285 is going to get a little hairy as temperatures fall and we continue to pile snow on. We have had 10 plus inches in Rudoso, and we will add some more to that as we take a look at the time lapse. You can see intermittent snow showers and definitely slushy roads. And we start to see uh, the sun set. You see that shimmer on the road. Hopefully, crews treating the roads because we're going to drop our temperatures fast. And we're expecting ice, snow, and fog on some uh, areas. So, we're going to see the snow shift to the south and the east as we get in the next 12 hours. And some things we're going to be concerned about is going to be snow through Saturday afternoon in the southeast, heavier snow in the mountains, and then definitely rough roads as we get going tomorrow, tonight, and tomorrow morning. Snow, ice, and fog, all big time concerns for anyone doing. Holiday travel, not just in the southern part of the state, but also the northern part of the state where we have snow on the ground and we could still have some problems as we get into Saturday. Mostly uh, uh, partly cloudy skies for a good portion of the state, cool conditions, and then even better for Christmas Day, we'll have mostly sunny skies. Temperatures starting to moderate a little bit, but still pretty chilly out there. Let's look at our storm track. We get the clock rolling. We're seeing most of the activity relegated to the southeastern part of the state. This is 9 a.m. Saturday. Still showers lingering in the southeast and even through the day. This is 6 p.m. Some trying to hang on in the Carlsbad area. So we could add two to four inches in Roswell overnight. And then as we get going, uh, still some issues. But by the time we get to Saturday evening, Christmas Eve, we're fine. And throughout the day, looking much better. Some travel spots we're going to be concerned about I 25, Las Cruces North, Roswell on 285, all the way up to I 40. It is open now, but that could change. We'll have to keep close eye on that. And then 82, Cloudcroft to Artesia. And then Cloudcroft to Las Cruces. Part of that is closed down. So keep these roads in mind as you're traveling. Tune into us tomorrow morning. We'll have all the details on road conditions. We want everyone to be as safe as possible during their holiday travel because this has been a very um, the timing of this storm has been pretty rough as far as Christmas travel. 16 in Taos, 30 in Farmington, 27 in Roswell. The temperatures are only going to fall from here. Southern Colorado, a very cold night on tap. We're looking at a high of only 32 tomorrow. Warming up, though, as we start the week, Monday, 41 degrees, 40 on Tuesday, and we'll be hanging out in the mid to upper 40s all week. In the northwestern part of the state, a very cold night as you get up in Farmington, 34 degrees, though, by the time we get to the afternoon hours, and then we'll finally get some relief as far as the temperatures come uh, by Monday and Tuesday will be in the low 40s, mostly sunny and cold. In the southwest, some lingering snow showers tonight and then again for tomorrow morning. But as we get into tomorrow afternoon, really starting to clear up. Sunday, a whole new day, plenty of snow on the ground still. We'll start to see it melting, though, as temperatures inch up to the 40s and we'll end the week in the mid 50s. And there's a lot of snow to get rid of in areas like Silver City. They did very well for themselves. In the southeastern part of the state, snow tonight continuing tomorrow, really starting to step it down on the snow by tomorrow night. But it'll still be on the ground in many areas, and we'll have to keep an eye out for that fog and snow packed roads, especially in the southeast. Uh, we're going to have to keep an eye out for travel, so please be careful. In northeast New Mexico, things are um, a lot uh, calm, uh, more calm, excuse me. Partly cloudy, still cold. 33 in Las Vegas, 32 in Mora tomorrow, 41 in Raton, nearing 40 in Conscious, 35 in Roy, stepping it up to about 47 degrees on Monday in Las Vegas, and then we'll finally hit the 50 degree mark as we get going. In the northern mountains, uh, isolated flurry here and there, but the main story will be cold, cold conditions. As you get up in Angel Fire tomorrow, we'll be in the negative territory. Same story in Taos and Red River and single digits in Santa Fe, warming up to a toast. 31 degrees in Santa Fe and then 36 for your Christmas and we'll get to the 40s before you know it. So all those Christmas toys the kids get, they can actually play with them outside. 30 in Edgewood, 34 in Tijeras. Spot snow possible tonight. We could add an inch or two in the East Mountains. Not like they haven't had enough already, but a couple more inches is possible. But really the focus is going to be areas south of I-40. 35 in Rio Rancho, 38 in Berlin. Spot snow possible tomorrow, uh, tonight, although not likely. Conditions are going to be much better for tomorrow and then even more so for Sunday with a high of 40 degrees for your Christmas day. But uh, please check in with us tomorrow. We're going to be looking at all the roads for you to make sure everyone is safe on uh, their Christmas travel. Very important. Lots of people still traveling. Absolutely.